Hello everybody and welcome to this video where um, I get to walk you through um, my hangover and the events that led up to it. So let's chat, shall we? So Bookish made a great video um, on Thursday talking about um, writing as a form of immortality. And because I saw it at 3 o'clock in the morning while I was um, indulging myself, um, I left some giant long-ass comment that was kind of stream of consciousness and kind of drunk ramblings. But the idea stuck with me um, all through the night and all through this morning. Um, then I saw that um, Brian left a comment on my comment he talked about what I, what I was saying, but, um, yeah, it was, it was kind of hysterical. Yeah. Maybe I should just read my comment here and I'll read it exactly how I typed it. I, I, I said, I really curious how social media will play a part in immortality. This is the tail end of the first generation of people that maybe would have been writers that spend more time speaking their minds on these soapboxes, mine included. LOL. I wonder how many social media companies will archive things as more and more people who have been a part of this revolution die off, or if it's just taking up server space. After we are all gone, oh wait, no, after we are gone, all we are, oh, this, this is fucking some profound shit right here. Fucking drunk comments, dude. After we are gone, all we are, are our ideas, how they were conveyed, and how they were received. I don't know why I sounded like fucking Palpatine there at the end there, but, you know. Um... We are all nothing but a multitude of blips and thoughts screaming at individuals at the same time. I always wonder how many writers... Uh, I always wonder how many writers would have never written a thing if social media was at their disposal. And that's true. And we've talked about this on this channel before. Like, there's a lot of people who I think never would have tried to write a single book if they were able to, like, yell their um, thoughts and shit from soapbox land. It's very strange. It's a very strange thing to think about. And I think we've, we've talked about this before in this channel, but I want to, I know there's a lot of new viewers here. So I want you guys to think about some writers that you know, like not that you know personally, but writers that you're familiar with and you're familiar with their lives, you know, like people you've really studied. Do you think that there's any one of them who knowing how social media works now, do you think they would have never picked up a pen? Or never started um, typing in a Word document? Do you think they would have been completely content um, sharing their views and opinions on Twitter? Or on the YouTubes? Um, yeah, let me know down below what you think those are. What I have done here is not at all talk about what Brian's actual topic was on his video, okay? Um, but one of the reasons why I like watching bookish is because he does videos that spark imagination. He does videos that spark idea. And a lot of times I'll watch his content and then be like, oh my God, I have to make a video about, um, I don't know, the cultural relevance of Jim Davis's Garfield, you know, like whatever, like it doesn't matter what it is. Like he'll do a video on something like really, really important and I'll get an idea to do something, um, probably not so important. Um, but it is really interesting. There are a few channels that, um, like I watch specifically for that because 
to me, and I've been talking a lot lately about ideas and how important ideas are. I think one of the things, and since BookTube community has been such a big fucking topic um, the last couple weeks, um, I think as creators, it's really, really important if you care about the community aspect of this. When you make a video, does it ask a question? Is it an open-ended question? And if it doesn't do those things, you might want to, like, rethink your, um, not your strategy, but rethink how you did that video and think about ways to make those questions open-ended. A lot of people who have channels, and, like, my channel's not huge. I'm not a fucking lunatic here. I understand the size of my channel. But um, there are a lot of people with smaller channels than me. Like, I am seriously, like, on the... Um, I'm probably on the high end of low-end YouTube. Y you guys know what I'm fucking saying. But a lot of people who have channels um, ask me a lot, like, hey, like, what advice do you have to grow channels? Like, how, how do you get a bunch more subs? Like, blah, 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 blah. And these are good questions. But I honestly think one way to gain more traction and to get people engaged with your content is to ask open-ended questions. Like, no matter what it is, if it's a book review, figure out a way to have a question in there. Like, why are people going to be commenting on your video? Do people want to um, engage with you? You know, like, there has to be some reason for someone to take a moment out of their day and type something out for you or to type something to other people in your video, like in the comments. So, I don't know. That's just a little tidbit of advice. Um, this, this video has completely gone off the rails. Um, it was just me kind of laughing at myself for being a drunk philosopher and then um, giving bookish a bunch of credit and then um, advice for booktubers. So however any of this works together, this has now been a video and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think. Um, and who are the authors that you like that would never have written a damn thing if the internet would have been around when they were able to like not be dead. <sighs> That's a fucking horrible way of saying it. Listen to me. Now you guys are like going, God, he's just talking about how to make questions be good and all this stuff. And then he says that fucking thing at the end. I am a fucking paradox. I do not understand my existence whatsoever. So until next time, everybody, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.